Located just five miles north of Moab in southeastern Utah, Arches National Park contains the world's largest concentration of natural sandstone arches. Although over 2,000 arches are located within the park's 76,000 acres, the park also contains an astounding variety of other geological formations. Massive sandstone fins, colossal balanced rocks, soaring pinnacles, and spires dwarf visitors as they explore the park's viewpoints and hiking trails. Hikers can choose from a variety of trails, from short 20-minute walks leading right up to many of the largest arches in the park, to more adventurous hikes into lesser seen areas. With so much to see in Arches National Park, it may be difficult to choose where to go, what to see, and what to do. These are my top 15 must-see bucket list locations in Arches National Park. Number 15, Fiery Furnace and LaSalle Mountain Viewpoints. From this viewpoint, you have excellent contrasting views of the snow-capped LaSalle Mountains against the red rock of the Fiery Furnace. The Fiery Furnace is a natural labyrinth of narrow passages between towering sandstone walls. To enter the Fiery Furnace, you must accompany a ranger-guided hike or obtain a self-guided exploration permit before you visit. Number 14, Arches Visitor Center. Arches National Park has one visitor center located just inside the park's entrance, five miles north of Moab, Utah. You can learn about the park from exhibits and a bookstore. Rangers are on duty to answer your questions. Restrooms and drinking water are available. Number 13, Navajo Arch. Navajo Arch sits on a short side trail off the Devil's Garden Trail in Arches National Park. The well-marked side route begins after you ascend the large fin near Landscape Arch and will only add a mile round trip to your original journey. The arch is a low profile feature made of entrada sandstone and sits at the mouth of a small sandy alcove. The intimate setting is unlike most of the other arches in the park, except maybe sand dune, and it has several great specimens of juniper right beyond its arc. Number 12, Partition Arch. Like Navajo Arch, this beautiful Entrada Sandstone Arch is located off a short side route along the famous Devil's Garden Trail in Arches National Park. The views through Partition Arch are spectacular and look southeast over the northern stretches of the park and Cottonwood Wash. Its low profile allows you to get much closer to the arch than many of the other arches in the park. Number 11, Landscape Arch. Landscape Arch is the longest of the many natural rock arches located in Arches National Park and is among the longest natural stone arches in the entire world. The arch can be accessed by a 0.8 mile graded gravel trail. Number 10, Double O Arch. Double O Arch is the second largest arch within the Devil's Garden area after Landscape Arch, of course. As the name implies, there are two arches here, one large with a span of 71 feet, stacked atop a much smaller arch with a 21 foot span. Double O Arch is located at the far end of the Devil's Garden Primitive Loop, 1.93 miles past the Devil's Garden Trailhead and parking lot. Number 9. Balanced Rock, one of the most iconic features in the park, stands a staggering 128 feet tall. While this formation may appear to be an epic balancing act, it's actually not balanced at all. The slick rock boulder of Entrada Sandstone sits attached to its eroding pedestal of Dewey Bridge mudstone. The exposure of these two rock strata layers are ideal for the formation of arches and balanced rocks. Balanced rock defies gravity, but this won't always be the case. Eventually, the 3,600 ton boulder will come tumbling down as the erosional process continues to shape the landscape. Number eight, Courthouse Towers Viewpoint. Your eyes will immediately gravitate across the road toward the trio of sandstone towers. These are the three gossips. They stand about 350 feet tall. Their flat, almost equal summits peak at an elevation of about 4,700 feet. Number seven, Park Avenue viewpoint and trail. A paved sidewalk leads to a viewpoint down a corridor of towering rock walls and curiously carved spires. Number six, Sand Dune Arch. Hike through deep sand to find this hidden arch between tall sandstone walls. This side trail, less than a quarter of a mile round trip, meanders between fins to an impressively hidden sand dune arch. This is a great family destination, particularly on hot days. Number five, sunrise at double arch. 
Double arch is an incredible formation of arches within the windows area, an area with the largest concentration of natural arches in the entire world. Visible from the parking lot at the windows, double arch is an impressive feature. It is the tallest and second longest arch in the park. Double arch is located in the windows section, which is considered by most to be the beating heart of Arches National Park. Number four, the windows at sunset. The window section is best viewed at sunset. The area contains a large concentration of arches and is one of the most scenic locations in the park. North window, turret arch, and double arch are just a few of the awe-inspiring expanses you will find in just over two square miles. Other named features in this area include Garden of Eden, Elephant Butte, and Parade of Elephants. In the words of Frank Bethwick, leader of a 1933 scientific expedition, these arches are of thrilling beauty. One marvels at the intricacies of nature. This section of the park offers both beauty and variety, hiking, sightseeing, stargazing, photography, and enjoyment for the whole family. Number three, Broken Arch Trail. Broken Arch sits high above a pygmy forest of pinyon and juniper trees. Hike across grasslands to a stone arch that isn't actually broken, yet. You can just hike out and back to the arch, make it a loop, or add on a side trip to Sand Dune Arch. Grasslands and quiet trails can be a good place to spot wildlife. Many desert animals are good at not being seen. Try sitting still and silently for 10 minutes or more and watch the desert. You'll be surprised how much life there is. Number two, Delicate Arch Trail. People come from all over the world to visit Arches National Park, and visiting Delicate Arch is on the top of many visitors' to-do lists. In a park with over 2,000 stone arches, this particular freestanding arch has become a widely recognized symbol of the state of Utah and one of the most famous geological features in the world. The light opening beneath the arch is 46 feet high and 32 feet wide, making it the largest freestanding arch in the park. It has had more than a few names in its history, from colorful cowboy chaps and old maids bloomers to the prosaic salt wash arch. The term delicate first appeared in a January 1934 article about the Arches National Monument Scientific Expedition, which described it as the most delicately chiseled arch in the entire area. The trail to see delicate arch up close and personal is three miles round trip and climbs 480 feet. Along this steadily uphill trail, you'll also pass the Wolf Ranch Cabin and a wall of Ute Indian petroglyphs. And number one, Devil's Garden Loop Trail. Adventure waits for sightseers, hikers, and thrill seekers in Devil's Garden, one of the premier locations in the park. Here you'll find arches, spires, and a large concentration of narrow rock walls called fins. Fins form when rainwater erodes parallel fractures caused by the uplift of salt deposits below the surface. Fins eventually erode and give way to the formation of arches like Landscape Arch, the crown jewel of Devil's Garden. Devil's Garden offers breathtaking views, camping, backpacking, stargazing, and hiking of all skill levels. The Devil's Garden Trail has all of the ingredients for a perfect hike. If you hike the entire 7.9 mile loop, you get to see eight arches along the way. What makes Devil's Garden Trail so great is that you can pick and choose what you want to do. You can simply hike round trip to Landscape Arch. It's only about 1.6 miles round trip. From the main trail, there are two spur trails that detour to more arches. Once you get to the end of the main trail, you can hike back the way you came or try out your route finding skills on the primitive trail. If you are visiting arches as a family or in a group, some people may choose to explore the easier trails at the front of the hike. Those feeling more adventurous can keep going. As you approach Double O Arch, the trail gets more difficult and more fun. Now that you have short sections of rock scrambling, the views from the sandstone fins are unbeatable and hiking back on the primitive trail is a great way to add a little adventure to your day. As you go rock scrambling, hike along fins of sandstone, and enjoy some of the best views in the park.